Hello, my remote students. Um, I wanted to go over what you should be working on this week. Um, two things, if you um, are up to date right now, you should be working on, uh, if you haven't completed your digi journal, you need to complete the first entry in there, which I'll show you real quickly. And you also need to do a Google Slides review. So um, right now I'm in um, our DigiLit cl Google Classroom. This was the A day, but the B day looks exactly the same. I'm going to click on Classwork. Um, I just posted a Google Slides review. Yours will be down here in Remote Students Only. Um, I'm going to click on, actually, right here. So this activity is fairly long. There's 40-some slides. Um, it's going to go through how to format and add text, add pictures, and do all the things in a Google Slides, because we do a lot of work in Google Slides, especially remotely. So all the slides, like the first one says how to change the theme. It shows you that you will click on theme, which is actually right there, and then it shows you how to do it. And then the next one says practice and then you'll change the theme. And this is how I'll grade you is that when you're done and you turn it in, I'll see that you changed the theme on this slide. And the next one is shows you how to change the font. Then the next slide says, uh, let's practice and you'll do that. Um, so that's pretty much how the whole slideshow goes. Here you're going to crop an image. I do wanna point out that when you insert an image, you can search the web. You can, if you already have an image, it's a, you know, because the next one asks you to insert an image of a puppy. If you have one on your device, you can already use that. But if you don't, when you click insert image, you can search the web and it comes up here and you can type in puppy and it'll bring up images of puppies for you. So if you scroll down later on, all the way, right, it's a lot. Um, there's an activity called a successful slide sort. And what you're going to do is you are going to decide which of these slides here, so the directions are over here, you're going to drag and drop the slides that are successful, the ones that people can look at and say, huh, I really get what's on that slide. You're going to slide them under successful slides. And the ones that you can't read well or you don't understand, you're going to put under slides that stink. Um, and then you're going to leave them there. And I will check to see if you got them right. And you can come back and look. And I'll put notes down here whether you got it right or not. And um, see, so yeah, there's two different ones where you're going to sort which ones are successful and which ones stink. Uh, just so you know, there are only two successful ones on each slide. So there's all these different ones here, all these different ones there and here, only two for each one. There's two successful ones on this one, two successful ones on this one. The last slide, number 44, I want you to make a list of things, criteria that you think make a successful slideshow. Lots of color, lots of fonts, not so much color, not so much fonts. What things do you think make a successful slideshow? Okay, here it says, create a bulleted list. We've already started it for you. So this activity probably gonna take you a little while. We, I'm expecting it to take at least one class period, which is on an A day would be Monday and Tuesday. If you're a B day, Thursday and Friday. The other activity, that you need to complete this week is your digi journal. If you click on your digi journal, you need to have your name filled in on the first page. Should be a text box right there. And then there are four questions and there are text boxes that you need to fill in. Okay, now when you turn it in, I'm gonna put your grade down here in the speaker notes and then return it back, because I will be adding pages down here uh, along the side. So that's how that works. Okay, if you have any questions, please send me an email, and that is what we're doing this week. And I hope to see you Wednesday at 10 for our live Google Meet. All right, bye.